What's happening, folks? So right now I'm joined by Pear from Damasteel. Huh? Thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. Nice to meet you. Absolutely. So we were just talking, and one of the things that we've done with our blade steel series is try to educate people on why different blade steels cost what they do and the technology that goes into developing these blade steels. And um, if you could, kind of explain what the difference is between Damasteel and other blade steels and Damasteel and other Damascus steels. Well, uh, Dama steel is a powder metallurgy made steel, so it's what what's make is it different from others is that we use the, the best available technology to make a blade steel. That's that is the powder metallurgy technology, and there are certain different levels of that technology, different sophistication. So we use the most sophisticated one, and then we have when it comes to Damascus steel, we start with the powder. And, and making the pattern within the powder. So we never we never do any putting steels together or layer right. solid steel pieces. So this has always been a solid piece of steel. Right. And then we work it in traditional ways with with the coining, pattering, twisting operations in different ways to get the different pattern. But it, the, the important thing is that this has always been one piece of solid steel. Right. It's, it has never been folded together of right. solid pieces. Exactly. Solid. So, so uh, it performs like any powder metal you may see. Right. So it, the, the patterning actually comes from the powdered state and then it gets, uh, I'm assuming, hipped at that point um, yeah. after the uh, pattern is actually decided upon or developed. And then um, after you hip it, then you can cut it down. Yeah. So that, I mean, that's phenomenal. I mean, you're talking about uh, the powder blade steel that everybody's looking for, but then you get these gorgeous patterns out of it. And um, you guys have different different types of powdered steel too. I think um, one of them was was it DS 93X? Yeah, that's our our standard grade, mm -hmm. which is which is a. a a very usable steel. It's easy to work with. As a knife maker, you you don't get any surprises. It's, right. it's, it's very predictable uh, and gives the best results of it. But also end user, it's a very good steel to use, and uh, the, the, it has small hard face particles, and it's it's good for cutting. I mean, it, for anything that you want to cut, but especially if you're going into uh, like hunting knives and chef knives cutting food because you can make that edge razor sharp nice. and you want that absolutely. for a good cut absolutely fair thank you so much for joining us and thank you for clearing up some stuff for us we appreciate that thank i know you. our viewers do and uh it's nice to see y'all nice to meet you guys thank you absolutely. nice to meet you folks stay tuned for more from right here at blade show west what is happening everybody look who we just run into we got jb big red edc dude thank you so much Good to see you guys. You're awesome. Absolutely, man. So, um, we've uh, been in some of your lives, been talking to you guys. Yep. And yep. Um, you and uh, KC have yep. been having a lot of fun, yep. ribbing each other back and forth. Yes. Um, and uh, first off, I want to thank you and everyone else in the knife community for the outpouring of support for Jason Brown and his family. Oh, absolutely. Um, absolutely. I tell you what, that has been something that has really touched my heart and seeing people come together. It was a killer, um, man. Yeah. It was a absolutely. killer to hear that. And, uh, and it's not over uh, yet no, either. No, um, no. There's still more stuff going on. If you go uh, on Lancelot Leather uh, EDC Roundtable, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. check out that because they're actually doing some uh, fundraisers yep. uh, for Jason Brown's family as well. Yep. Um, and I tell you what, that has really shown how wonderful this knife community is. Absolutely, 100%. Um, and how 100%. everybody can come together. And we absolutely have loved seeing that. Um, but also, we're, what? Oh, yeah. So Jason Brown has been a fan of our channel and a fan of a lot of different channels. Yeah. He's been yeah. a huge part of the community absolutely. for a really long time. Yes. And, um, yes. you know, for us, when we do lives, when we have events and stuff, we always have that core group of mm -hmm. 20, 15 to 20 people that are always there that we can depend yep. on. And Jason Brown was one of those. Jason and, um, Brown was the first one in the chat. Every time. Every time. Every time. He was and ready. And he wanted to be there because he wanted to welcome everybody else. Yeah. That was just, that was Jason. 
and I don't know if you've seen, but there's a couple of guys, there's a few guys out here. I didn't get mine in time, but they're wearing the Jason Brown t-shirts nice. that Pocket Metal did. Yep, that's Those awesome. Those are very cool. And, you know, I talked to him uh, a good while back, and um, he and I talked about what that community meant to him mm -hmm. and, and how much that helped him through a lot of really hard times. And um, I think it's, it's really important that we stay focused on that. Yes. Because this community isn't just about knives. No. It's about no. Uh, the friendships that we make. Absolutely. And um, Absolutely. it's about, you know, helping us find some purpose and helping us yes. find some uh, really fun commonalities between Absolutely. a lot of different people. And um, he was uh, a, a, a huge part of that and, yes. and very exemplary when it comes to that. Yeah. And, um, I mean, I I'd, I'd literally just talked to him uh, a couple of weeks before. He commented on and, my video um, that morning. Yeah. And uh, so it's been it's been a really hard loss, a yes. really hard loss for the yes, community, it and it will be felt for a long time. And I know um, you know my wife Nelly; she's mixed in every once in a while. I don't know how those two ever got, but all of a sudden they just start calling one another their BFFs and stuff, and they're like <laughs> they got this side thing going on. I don't even know about you know. And I'm like, well, what but I mean that's just that's the type of person he was. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. But we're here at Blade Show West, and yeah. we're having a good time. Yeah. We're uh, seeing some really cool stuff. I mean, we've already, I mean, we're early on in the day now. It's, yeah, it's what only 1130. In? It's an hour and um, a half in, and yeah. I've already spent a hell of a lot of money. Yeah, right? I'm sorry. And, uh, honestly, we uh, we we, uh, we didn't think we were going to be able to get in as early as we did, so we ended up, like, wasting time out here when we could have <laughs> already walked in. Oh, um, oh, oh. But, we didn't realize what kind of pass we had. Oh, <laughs> I got right on. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we got our passes that came right in and uh, was really excited to see a lot of the stuff going on. And uh, it's going to be a fun couple of days. But i got to ask, what have you got on you right now? Ah. It's, yeah. we, we well, got it is. That's not it, out it's yet. Red Finch Friday. Yep. Remember everyone deployed. That's my big thing. But this is the Hatfield. It is not out yet. But Spencer kind of set it along for me to get a look at. But it's just... I mean, their blend of modern and traditional. Yeah. Obviously, you've got the gun stock pattern on a flipper knife, 154 it. cm. It's just an awesome, and the action is pretty, uh, pretty, pretty insane. Sweet. Love so, that yep. right there. That, that's my baby. That's what I got on me today. That is sick. Absolutely love that. So what are you most excited to see at Blade Show here this weekend? Well, honestly, it's always the people. That's what it yeah. is. It is. It, that's what it is. I've had several people hit me up. Are you going to be there? Are you going to be there? I'm like, yeah, yeah. In line. That's the crazy thing. Walking down the line, people, JB, I'm like, hi. Yeah. Hi. It's, but, well, like I was just talking to you about how hard it is to find a knife lover out in the wild. Right? Yeah. Like, so yeah. when we're like out normally at the grocery store or something, I, like I found myself looking at people and I'm like, I wonder if that guy's a knife guy. Or I, <laughs> I wonder if that, yeah. I wonder if she's a knife girl. Yep. Um, yep. But at a place like this, you don't have to wonder that. No, um, no, no. It's pretty we're, obvious. Yeah. We're all here. And uh, yeah. it's also nice to see in person because, I mean, we do social media content. And a lot of times we end up, you know, just behind a computer screen wondering what kind of impact we're having. Are, are, yeah. are we doing what? Are we doing the yeah. best we can? Are we doing right. the most that we can do? Right. And, um, you know... When you look at analytics, you're talking about a very minimal amount of people that actually comment versus how many actually see the content. Yeah. And so you you start to wonder, okay, am I am I having the effect that I want to have? Right. Um, but coming to a place like this and seeing the people, just like you just said, out in line, hey, right. JB, right. it, it right. makes you feel like, okay, you're I, doing something I'm doing worthwhile. something right. Yep. And um, yep. it's, it's a great affirmation of, because we all, I, I know I'm not the only one that feels like, Okay, I, I hope I'm doing this right because yeah. I mean no, I, yeah. I beat myself up all the time. Yeah, wondering okay, is this being perceived the way that I want it to? Right. Um, but then getting to see the people and and like the, just a few minutes ago we were at uh, another booth and uh, this guy was like, Oh, you're you're the guy from SMKW. Yeah, I thought I recognized that voice when I heard you talking. Yeah, and um, he was like, Dude, watch all watch your videos all the time. Uh, I love your stuff and so. It's nice to actually hear that in person and, Absolutely. and put, uh, put Absolutely. faces to names and, and get to interact with everybody. So Right, and it's not, you know, ne me personally, I never started the channel to be like, I wasn't trying to be like the next Nick Shabazz or anything like that. <laughs> um, I was inspired by Jimmy Slash. 
Yep. And what he built in his community, I was like, I want to do that. Yep. And that's exactly what I've tried to do. And I think along with, you know, some other people, Zach, Casey, you know, Peter and Christine, we've been able to do that. Yeah. And that by far is the most important thing. Absolutely. The most important thing. It's, it's all about like, the community. Just like Jason. Yeah. I mean, that is the most important thing. Yeah, absolutely. JB, thank you so much, brother. Good to see you, you guys. Are awesome. Good, Good to, to see, see you, man. Guys. Folks, stay tuned for more. It's going to be a blast right here this weekend at Blade Show West. What is happening, everybody? So we're here at Blade Show West, and we just run into a guy that uh, has watched some of our videos. Mihai, thank you for joining us. Uh, so Mr. Mr. Designs. Yep. So we're really excited. Uh, you said you've got some of your own stuff here. Yeah, man. So let's take a look. Oh. So this one's the Decipher. This one's by Best Tech Knives. It's an OEM. It's just a minimalist top flipper right there. That Drop is point, sick. hand rub. Production is going to be M390. This exact configuration is also a Tanto version. There's going to be a Kickstarter for this later this month. After that, if that has success, probably be at your local dealers, hopefully. That's SMKW. awesome, yeah. Um, yep, so stay tuned for that. Absolutely. So, so when is the Kickstarter coming on this one? November. November? Yeah. Awesome. And where can they find the information for that Kickstarter? You can find it right here on my Instagram, Mr. Mr. Designs. I'll be posting regular updates. Absolutely. You can email list. That is sick action right there. Beautiful design. Fantastic job, brother. That is very nice. Absolutely. Yeah. And then probably Kickstarter after this one. It's going to be the guillotine by QSP Knives. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this one's going to be S35VN steel, all titanium hardware, scales, clip, steel liner, but titanium studs, airline, oh. external stops, and internal stops. It's going to be 170 Kickstarter. So. This is yeah. going to be coming out after the decipher. That is nasty. And I was not expecting it to reverse flick that easy at that angle. Excuse that is sick. That is sick. Yeah. Awesome work, brother. Absolutely. Thanks, man. Yes. Yeah. Well, we'll be looking forward to it. Folks, keep your eye out. Like you said, Mr. Mr. Designs on Instagram. Check them out for their Kickstarter coming up. We'll be back with more from right here at Blade Show West. <laughs>